All right, well, so here we are. I'm uh, in the process of wiring up this um, box here for the heat of the uh, heating system, and uh, I've got the it all wired up inside and down to down to the relays here. Uh, so the the air conditioners up in the uh, you know the controls up there. And there's the wires here that I was showing you earlier and they trigger these relays which in turn trigger the heater fan motors and the diesel heater so I don't I can't mount that permanently yet because I have to wait until I can get the electric uh, hot water heater um, but I'm going to wire it all up and, and uh, have it uh, ready to, uh, you know, when I do that, I can just install that in. And in the meantime, it'll, not that I need heat, but it'll, it'll work anyways. So, so uh, <clears throat> when I, and I've only got two uh, relays in here now, I have to put a third one in for the, uh, for the second zone, but I don't have the controls and everything for that. So I don't have not put that in yet I just run the wires for it. And so the one, relay here will run the uh will run the one zone heater that one turn runs the uh, uh runs the diesel heater turns it on and off and um i have to so what i'm gonna have to do somewhere in here i'm gonna have to put diodes in uh on the on the on the trigger lines for the heaters because i want either one of the zones to fire the diesel heater up but the power can only one run one direction because i don't want both zone fans coming on at the same time if that makes any sense so i gotta put some diodes in there to limit the the uh, flow of current only one in, in one direction so um i haven't got that far yet but anyways i'm just going to finish this up here this afternoon and um I'm running everything through the through the back of it so that when it's uh, it's all said and done, there's no exposed wires and, and everything. Um, so uh, I'm just going to continue on with that, and I'll demonstrate it once it's uh, once it's working. All right. So hello again. Um, I decided to um, do all the wiring and get this. Uh, uh, heating and air conditioning system all wired up and operational. Um, like I said before, the diesel heater I can't mount yet until I put the uh, electric hot water heater in there, but I don't have that yet, so yeah, it's just sitting there like it was before, but it is operational, so I'll uh, go up in and inside and demonstrate that in a minute. Uh, this is the box that I'm, you know, I showed you earlier, and it's uh, all wired up and working there now. Um, I'm gonna have to do something with this cover here, and it's a, it's a used box and it's a little scuffed up, so I'll have to do something with that to to uh, brighten that all up. I'm uh, just adjusting the voltage on the um, on the power converter here. That's why it's laying there. Um, if you, uh, I'll just hang on a second and I'll go up inside and. Um, run it run it up all right so as i said previously uh this is not the thermostat that i'm going to use uh long term but uh it operates similar to the the one that i will i'm going to use the dematics comfort control center 2 i think it's called um and it'll let you run up to four zones um this one's just a single zone um uh it'll also allow me to run the two front air conditioners in a lead lag setup. So um, that'll be good for up here. And then the, uh, the, the rear air conditioner will, will be the second zone. So anyways, uh, fire up the furnace. So it goes there. Takes a minute for it to. You hear the fans come on. 
I don't know if you can hear it or not, but the diesel heater just fired up. Hopefully you can hear that. Um, there's no warm air coming out of the out of the vents yet, obviously, because the water's still cold, but it uh, heats up within five minutes or so. Um, so, and then this also has a heat strip, which I don't have installed yet, so that will, uh, whoops, <laughs> have to aim it different. Yeah, okay, so there we go. Uh, there's the heat strip, which I, like I say, I don't have installed yet. Off. Uh, that's the inside temperature, 70 degrees. Um, so air conditioner there, and that should come on in a second. There we go. And the air conditioner comes on. So anyway, that's that. So I can um, just expand on that as I, you know, as I uh, get the other air conditioners and uh, put the the um, hot water, you know, the electric water heater in, all that kind of stuff, and just expand on the the, the system. You know, I wanted to wire it up, make sure my series <laughs> all worked, and they seem to so far, anyway. So, uh, and I've got uh, uh, on my panel here, my 12 volt panel. I have. Uh, wiring each in each air conditioner because they're controlled by 12 volt each one is uh separate this is i'm sorry this is the one over here this one here i haven't marked these things yet that's it there uh these are the three slide out uh circuits one for each of those these are the uh one is the the diesel heater and one each for the two the two fans that are that are uh, down there one for each so the heater boxes so these other and the rest of these that have aren't used yet uh you know one of them will be for the for the stairs um when i get to installing those down there and um you know another another circuit is for the uh the electric toilet and uh so you know anyways i'll i'll end up using up all 12 circuits pretty fast pretty quick um so that's about it i guess uh yeah that's what i was doing on the weekend so uh, i'm gonna got a little bit more uh work to do here i'll shut this stupid thing off there we go so i can hear myself think that's the only downside to a uh, rooftop air conditioner but when i uh, duct it all it'll be quite a bit quieter everything's coming out of that lower vent there right now this vent here and uh, so it's fairly loud but once it all once it's all ducted it should be quite a bit quieter um, anyways I'm gonna start my next project is going to be these windows so I'll get started on them uh, uh, probably next uh, this next weekend That's, uh, I'm hoping anyways and all something else comes up anyway that's it for now. Okay, I'm just gonna ask this out in uh, YouTube land. Uh, this bus has a uh, main fuel tank. It also has a an auxiliary fuel tank, 35 gallon, I believe, um, and 100. And, what are these? 120 in the main tank, 35 for the auxiliary, I believe. Uh, anyway, um, the auxiliary, there is no, so the, the auxiliary fills with the main tank, uh, just gravity feeds, I, and um, it has no, there's no fuel gauge. There was a light on the dash when we took the old dash off, um, you know, there was a light on the dash when it came on when it was low fuel. So. I have no idea. I've never dealt with one of these before. I'm just wondering if anybody out there is familiar with it, of how that auxiliary fuel tank works. I'm assuming that it just fills with 
as you fill the main tank, uh, you know, it just gravity feeds over to the to the auxiliary tank. But I'm thinking there must be a check valve in there to keep the fuel from returning to the main tank and then some sort of electric valve on another line that allows it to you know when the light when the low fuel light comes on you throw the switch and it allows the fuel to transfer over into the into the main tank is that sound right um because i'm thinking about putting the generator and the heating system on the on the auxiliary tank <clears throat> and i'm pretty sure as the fuel level in the auxiliary tank goes down the tank fuel in the main tank will just transfer over and and uh, into the auxiliary tank and and, uh, and keep it uh, you know all at the same level. Um, and I'm going to put a fuel gauge on it when I you know when I get the dash all built and everything. But I'm wondering if that's how it works or is there nothing in there? It just transfer. No, it must be. Anyways, I don't know. Um, because it does have a low fuel light and that would be kind of useless if you unless you had the auxiliary tank that you could dump fuel into the main one but i don't know how they did it so um if that's not the way it is that's what i'm going to do i think is uh allow it to fill and and um uh, you know through the main tank have a check valve on that fill line that uh so the fuel can't transfer back and then have a, a switch to dump it back into the main tank if you need it. Um, but maybe that's the way it worked already. Maybe that's already, you know, that's all set up in there already. I don't really know. I've, like I say, never had anything to do with them, so I don't know. So if anybody out there that's watching this does know how that works, maybe you could uh, leave a comment and, uh, and let me know. I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.